Angela, it didn't take very long for these candidates to get warmed up and start throwing verbal punches. Within the first 10 minutes, these two made it very clear that they have very different opinions. Congressman Hutchinson here, he, I can't figure out if he sounds more like a, a slick lawyer or a slick D.C. politician. He's, he's been both. Mike Ross was the first to strike, and the crowds on both sides showed their support on the hot-button issues. And I have supported the Arkansas constitutional amendment that defines a marriage as between one man and one woman. But I believe that marriage should be between one man and one woman, and that's how I've consistently voted as a state senator and as a congressman. But let me be clear, uh, I will not tolerate discrimination of anyone in the state of Arkansas. When it comes to health care, both said they support the private option, but Hutchinson wants to know how much it'll cost. But as governor, it is very important that we actually ask, can we afford it over the long term? Ross says he's all in. As governor, I will support the Medicaid expansion, the private option in Arkansas. But it was when the candidates were asked for their stance on attack ads paid for by out-of-state campaign spending, the crowds cheered. If you do not live in the state of Arkansas, you should not be able to contribute to a candidate for governor or any other office in the state of Arkansas. Well, there is such a thing as the Constitution, and the Supreme Court has ruled that, that there is freedom of speech for these groups. I think what's important is that candidates take responsibility for their own ads. A very eventful debate. Both candidates supporting tax reforms, better education, and bringing jobs to Arkansas, but both candidates with very different ways of getting us there.